Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I have a small haul I want to share with you, but I also want to share with you um, how I'm going to pack the teapot to send it out to Janet Cromer, um, our winner, because I've seen some videos where stuff um, arrives broken. So just a few tips. I'm sure we're all aware, but in, in, case, in case you're not, just a few ideas um, when packing it and chipping it. So what I started out with is I completely stuff the inside with tissue paper and this just kind of makes it a sturdier piece. There's not the hollow inside um, so hopefully this will kind of just strengthen the walls when it's being shipped and I, I try to put as much in there as possible. I might put some more in there because I'll ship the uh, lid, not ship it separately, but I'll package the lid separately in its own um, bubble wrap um, and tissue paper. Um, not send it all as one piece. So always try and pack it as full of tissue paper as you can just to strengthen the walls of the piece um, to give it just that a little bit more sturdiness when shipping it. I always like to save whatever comes in packages that I, you know, orders that I place. I try and save as many of these uh, fillers that come in those boxes. Th these bubbles aren't they're not huge, but any little thing might help. So I have a piece of that that I'm going to be using. Um, always buy a box that's going to give you enough space. You don't want a box that's just going to fit. Um, let there be some space between your um, outside of your box and your um, product that you're sending. So I think this box should do. It's pretty. It's going to make a pretty big square. I mean, I know shipping a, a larger box may be more expensive, but at least it'll get there in one piece. And then tons of bubble wrap. I don't think I'm going to use 60 square feet, but you basically want to wrap it so that it ends up just looking like, you know this, um, when they play that Christmas game and they take saran wrap and they just keep wrapping up candy into this huge ball? Well, that's the same kind of idea. You just want to wrap, wrap, and wrap completely in bubble wrap, like just keep wrapping it. Otherwise, it's not gonna get there in one piece. And of course, I picked up some scotch tape, some packing tape. So just, you know, a couple hints um, or tips when sending your Ray Dunn in the mail. Comment down below if you've ever had a disaster when you've sent your Ray Dunn. I'm assuming the, the uh, tea canister that I shipped to the, on the previous giveaway, I'm assuming that got there in one piece because I didn't hear otherwise. So just some ideas. Um, and again, Janet, when I do ship it, like I said, I'm gonna ship the, I'm gonna ship this piece wrapped on its own, the lid. So don't throw anything away before going through it. So that should be on its way today, hopefully. Met up with my Ray Dunn buddy last night, and she always picks me up little goodies, and she picked me up these pads. These, the quality of the paper, I love um, on these pads. And she, I think she got them on, well, this one was full price. I think a couple she got on clearance. But the quality, these are just, yeah, like a dollar. These are just so fun to have around and make lists. And, you know, we're always making lists. So I got four of those. Then she picked me up honey, the mug honey. And I traded her out. She wanted a black and white salt and pepper cellar set. So I traded her for the all white. So I have all white and I have two sets of the black and white, one with the tray, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with all that stuff. But the best part of meeting up with her last night was to get the birdhouse. It's so cute. Let me move this stuff here. And they're definitely smaller in size. They're so adorable. So I got fly and I feel like it was meant to be because that ribbon is like my favorite color, as you can see. So I got this one, it is so, they're just so tiny. I mean, I guess they're not that much tinier, but they just look tinier. And then on the back, so these were $19.99 at TJ Maxx. 
and on the back it's got the little bird. I noticed this little dimple there this morning, but it's not it's not a break. Cause it's like it's like completely it's smooth, so it's not like a, a break. It's just a dimple that ended up because that's not even sharp. But I love her. So I think I think I'm done. <laughs> we all say that though. But the rat race of chasing this stuff is getting crazy, and it's like how much more can one person get? I feel like I've got like the salt and pepper sellers were definitely a unicorn um, through the Christmas holidays. You could not find those at all. Um, I got the lemonade pitcher. Um, I don't know, like, how much could one person need? And then when you start to do the math, and I'm realizing I think I have about 100 mugs, and at $6 a piece, that's like $600. That could have totally paid for a class at the community college if I wanted to brush up on some skills or learn some new skills. Um, it could have paid for um, the majority of my CASSP exam that I need to retake this summer. So I'm rethinking my... Um, shopping and um, definitely need to slow it down because I'm running out of space and it's like how much more do I need but I love this birdhouse if I find some more of the new birdhouses I might grab them up I have three birdhouses from last season but love it gonna get the teapot in the mail I hope you enjoy it Janet let me know if it doesn't make it in one piece because there's always insurance that you can follow with the uh, USPS. So we're going to package that up and get that out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.